What's up, everybody? It's Sir Aaron Carter here, and this is the Video Game Bang you're listening to. On today's episode, we have Madison, Jada, and of course, Corey. I'm doing the intro, haven't done this in a long, long time, maybe since the 90s, if you were around in the 90s. I know a couple of you weren't. Uh, we're talking about E3 and some of the games we're going to bang or not there. We also got Uncharted 4 on the docket. We're going to talk about that. And then the stupendous Marvel Civil War came out, and it is smashing all type of records. We're going to talk all in depth about that one. If you haven't hit the follow button on twitch.tv video game underscore bang, go there and do that. Give us a like on the Facebook page, video game underscore. Nope, I don't think there's an underscore. Just bang, bang. Video game, bang, bang. We're also on Twitch. We're on iTunes. The newest place you can catch us, Google. Google Play has podcasts, everybody. We're right on there. I like listening to it because it's good uh, morning drive type of stuff. We're also on iTunes, of course, and I think still Stitcher. Uh, we're doing Patreon, too. But uh, you've heard enough of me, so now you can listen to... Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. That's when the issue gets real. You get really shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> it right now. Right Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, pizzas? Corey Vincent here, and this... Is the video game bang brought to you by nerdreactor.com? What are you reacting to? Of course, they're gaming. Come sail away with us. And of course, Antlion Audio. Keep yo headphones. Add a mod mic. Like how I broke it down there, Aaron? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I approve. You do? Yeah. It takes some time for me to think about Did it. Did you just it's, give up? It's very phonetic. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, what do we call it? Um, web esque. Okay, yeah, you, you, you just really screwed it all up. <laughs> I know, you wanted it. And he's not even on the show. Exactly. And then you still got to bring people down. Web esque. It's not bringing them down. Web esque? Yeah. I get people all the time asking me, when is his personal podcast coming out? <laughs> we went over that once. Uh, go back a few episodes. We played some excerpts from uh, the webcast. When it was just him before he I found... I promise you, they, they, the fans want it. That was the best segment the I think we've ever it. had. Uh, speaking of the best segment we've ever had, uh, she's back, a BGB original. Jada, welcome back to the podcast. I wasn't sure where we were going with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an original. Yeah, it's true, I guess. Yeah. What's going on? I'm doing great. Uh, you've been busy. You've been streaming 27 hours straight? Yeah, yeah. I did a uh, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 nonstop speed run um, over the weekend, uh, 27 and a half hours nonstop. Wow. So each game was about about eight and a half hours minus cutscenes. Congratulations on 500. Almost. Almost. We're this month. We should hit 500 followers this month. So and really close. So it's Jade Arena. You are in chat. If yep, you guys yep. are watching this live with us, there's eight of you I see right now trickling in. Hey, Kennedy. Uh, click on Jada's name there and give her a follow. She's also streaming this show. So you can go there. Twitch.tv slash Jade Arena. And also joining us on the show, she's back. That's right, two times in a row. Is that is that a record for you? Yeah, actually, it is. And we love having her, Madison. Welcome back to Bang. Hi. <laughs> welcome back to Bang. <laughs> welcome back to that Bang. That was Web esque. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was awesome. I thought about making a ripoff of an ACDC song, "Back in Black," but changing it to "Back in Bang." Uh, like a shirt. Yeah. That'd be fine. I mean, I guess. Would you wear that, Aaron? I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> I still why, literally, why would, I would, Friday I'm going to pick up my first uh, shirt though. Actually, two shirts. I'm going to pick up two shirts off the website. Oh, from yeah. our spread shirt. Yes. So if you go to our spread shirt, uh, I think it's videogamebang.spreadshirt.com. Which ones are you getting? I'm getting the uh, the Run DMC one. Run VGB. The Run VGB. Yep. And then the, uh, the baseball shirt one. Oh, you're going to get the baseball shirt. Yes. All right. I like it. Dope on a rope, as we oh, like wow. to say. <laughs> Damn it. I am webbing it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's because you miss them. That's what mm, it is. Mm. It's <laughs> like trying to fill the void. <laughs> is what he's your, trying to do in, his, in missing. his soul, that web, web provides. Web is like the Jerry of the podcast. When he's gone, his presence is, is missed. And so oh, wow. he has to take on the role. Are we talking about Jerry Seinfeld? 
No, 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 no. Okay, that's what I was. <laughs> that's that's what what I was my head went. <laughs> I was like, he's not really Jewish, you know that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, been a great week. Uh, if you guys hear some noise, some hammering, some buzz saws, some uh, unexpected noises, it is because we, I'm having hardwood floors installed like right above us. He's also building in a, a basement to hide all the dead bodies. That's going on below us right now, too. So expect wow. to hear some noises. Uh, it's perfectly normal. It's a one-time occurrence. It's probably going to happen two or three times. Uh, we have a big show lined up for next Wednesday. I think I told Aaron about it because we don't communicate ever. But next week, uh, we're going to have Made of Might try to be on the show one more time. <laughs> Last time we had Made of Might, of course, the studio took a dump. It just crashed on us. We had to cancel. Most embarrassing moment of my life. But she will be back next Wednesday along with another guest, Laura, uh, who is a runner-up. Or no, she's a finalist, rather. She's a finalist in the uh, Dream Big Sacramento contest, which is huge for our community. Uh, they basically take entrepreneurs. Uh, they come up with their best ideas and they submit them. And the ones that are good get weeded through. And then they get counseling and advice from marketers, from business owners and they refine them. They get the best of the best ideas to a top five, and then it opens to a public vote. Well, Laura came up with an idea called uh, Oblivion Comics and Coffee, and it's a perfect idea. I mean, it sounds like it matches this time. Aaron, are you a coffee drinker? Uh, no, not at all. So you're not going to do the coffee stuff, but it's a comic store. Y- and yeah. you like that vibe. I know you. I like. Yeah, yeah. that's the only reason why I kind of instantly it was like oh yeah i like that because i like the coffee shop vibe and of course i'm a comic book fan uh and to merge those two that just be kind of you know I'd, I'd like to see it come to fruition i don't think there's really anything else out there like it yeah no, not yeah, yet yeah. not in this area yeah, yeah. Uh, it fits this area they, like, mm-hmm. i mean Sacramento. they've got like, tons yeah. of hipsters oh yeah but oh, what yeah. were you saying madison <laughs> i was gonna say they've got like a, a cat cafe here in the area why not a co- uh, comics and cat. coffee shop <laughs> Cat cafe, like yeah. so they have cats inside the coffee shop. No, it's a cafe. Oh. It's a little bit different from a coffee shop, but similar. Okay. And yeah, they do. They've and you got, bring your cats in there. Well, it's right next to the uh, the Front Street Animal Shelter. Oh, okay. And the cats there, they kind of lounge around. You can pet them. Mm. Yep. Well, we go in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll be going there. Aaron you don't want a little, uh, well, a little yeah, furry I know, like, coffee? I don't, I don't like your, felines. Right? <laughs> no, 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 I think no, it's no. outdoors, actually. Oh, that's yeah. even worse. I mean, they can just stroll around anywhere they want. Get those little, your cups. Those little pussy, on, the yeah, little no. pussy hairs your in your food. No, yeah, I can't terrible. stand that. <laughs> um, you tried really hard for that one, Corey. I, I did, and you guys just walked all over it. I but that's fine. We're going to move on. the No, but you guys can all vote. You don't have to be local. I see some people talking in chat saying that sounds like an awesome idea. Uh, you can. I will post the link to it in chat in a bit once we get the show rolling a little bit better, uh, and you guys can vote. It'll be all over our Facebook already. Uh, we wrote an article for it for Nerd Reactor. Big freaking opportunity, and it's a big risk because I know Laura personally, and she told me about this idea months and months and months ago. And I said, if you get to the finals, VGB will push this thing as far as we can to everybody we know. So we have cosplayers in the community getting all behind this idea. We're going to push the hell out of this thing. So next week, Made of Might and Laura talking about Oblivion, comics and coffee, and we're going to make this damn thing happen. Look at CoinOp. When yeah, CoinOp was no, announced. Seriously. Right? Who doesn't love CoinOp? It's become a rally point for us geeks. And then for the ones who don't drink, like Aaron, this is a daytime chillax one. And maybe I could start my comic book subscription because my favorite comic book shut down a year ago. Now, Honestly, I think I'd like this better than CoinOp. I've been to CoinOp and I think it was a little more hype than it actually was good. CoinOp, CoinOp burned out for me after the fifth time of going. I didn't there. even go. Yeah. I, went, I went like twice and yeah. I was done. I yeah. go once every like maybe three, four months. Yeah, but so you it's drink co- too though, right? I do drink. Yeah. yeah. So, so I mean that the, you got yeah. that part, but I've got the other aspect. Yeah, so that, you don't drink. So. Yeah, so I've done all the games around there and then the other yeah. aspect is drinking so it's like, well, then I've... You completed all yeah, the I've games. Yeah, completed the mission. Every single game. Every single one. one. Yeah. Every, every single, single one. Every single one. Gauntlet 2 over in the corner. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's like the one game I played when I was there. Gauntlet 2 is so It really Oh, that difficult. I don't even have the uh we didn't put up the uh, that episode then. Uh where I, where I told the story about the my epic uh adventures there. Well, that'll be a lost episode, won't it? Yep. One for the archive, just like episode yeah. 10. Yeah, it's like episode 10. <laughs> or we'd never had, actually, exactly. we did have an episode 10, it just got lost. Remember, we had Adam Sessler. Yeah, uh, man, that was Morgan the Webb. craziest show. It was show. the Morgan Webb, I think, made Getting a Getting those cameo. two back together. 
on our that show. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Reunion. yeah. Are you serious? Dead yeah. serious. But then the episode just got lost and no one ever heard of it. We got behind why he shaved his hair. Yep. It was it was some deep stuff. It was during wow. a transitional I, period for VGB. No, we were I, upgrading equipment. I think I remember this. I think I was on this show. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah. Tons of people on the show. Yeah, we yeah. had everybody. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're still trying to find it. Once we find it, we will post it. Uh, and it's going to be great. Uh, one last piece of business before we pick up the video game news. Uh, and that piece of business is losing my mind. It's it's leaving. Oh, my god! Losing gosh. your mind? Can That's I, the business? Gonna You're going to lose your mind? No, what was I going to say, Aaron? Channel your... Oh, yesterday, uh, Aaron and I did a crossover. Yes, we did. So, much Civil like... Civil War crossover. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't, we didn't fight, did we? Uh, no, we didn't fight, no. No. Not uh, the, yeah, yeah, no, we did not. No, so if you guys want to check out, uh, we've been talking about them for a, quite a while, the Film Philosophers podcast. Uh, they are the second podcast under the VGB Studios banner. Uh, they record here in our studio, and Aaron and I did a crossover. So we went to their show and pretty much just rocked it, I en- think. Enjoyed it, uh, it was fun. thoroughly, yes, yes. Uh, my first time meeting uh, Chad, I believe his name is. Well. No. Yeah, first we call time. we call him White Aaron. That's impossible. <laughs> is it because of his voice? No, no he no, sounds nothing. Definitely like not the voice, but no. more like they both don't drink, they both don't curse. He doesn't curse. You sure? No, positive. I could have swore I heard him drop a couple of f bombs when, no. when he came up to the Black Panther. <laughs> no, that was the N word. So that f and this <laughs> and that f and that. No. Walked around like he owned the place. The N word is still cursing. Yeah, it was a it's little worse strange. than most cursing. Uh, seeing the dynamic of the two podcasts colliding, uh, we didn't have to work nearly as hard. It was actually quite enjoyable. I didn't want to. Every time I go on anybody else's podcast, I'm always reserved and trying to, you know, not. Uh, you don't want to steal the show. Yeah, you know, so I, I I hold it back a little bit, you know, and I don't want to uh, step on any toes. I'm a guest on your, you know, podcast. I yeah. think the first podcast was the uh, Futon Alliance that I did yeah I sent you off on that one did that one with yeah. them and um, dropped some real knowledge on those guys and then I was like wait a minute I'm teaching way too much let me back it off here, back it off here. <laughs> would you call yourself a film philosopher oh I'm I have a, a, a master's degree in film philosophy yeah. wow <laughs> do you want to check out that episode we did post it again on our Facebook or you can check them out on Twitter at film philosophy 101 or film philosophers on the Facebook so enough of that business it is time to get to the news ladies and gentlemen so we have a lot of news uh, starting off with Civil War has the fifth best domestic opening box office weekend of all time shocking I know right like <laughs> were, you, <laughs> were you waiting for a <gasps> yeah no, no like yeah I mean that was the expected it just had all the hype it had you know everybody's been waiting for Civil War for what two years now two three yeah, years yeah. easy as soon as like, it, they, they dropped that giant timeline when was that uh, about that was about, nine, about, nine yeah. months ago uh, I think it was around Comic Con that, that just yeah. boosted everybody's expectations we were like oh yeah we can't wait for that mm. uh, Aaron actually went to go see it uh, that's basically all we talked about on the Film Philosopher. So if you want our full opinions, Aaron's full thoughts on what he thought of the Black Panther and Spider-Man and how they brought them all together, uh, you can check it out on Film Philosophers. But just in a nutshell, Aaron, bang it or bang it? Uh, definitely bang it. Uh, twice. Start a relationship. <laughs> ask it to marry you. <laughs> Have kids. Picket white fence. You move into Wakanda? Uh, move to Wakanda <laughs> with it uh, and stay there for the rest of your life. Uh, you Madison, did you see the movie yet? No. No. Oh, okay. What are you doing with your life then? Uh, living so like, it. So raising a child. <laughs> 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 Responsibilities. <Yeah. laughs> uh, no. Um, honestly, I was about to say, like, uh, I don't remember what came before uh, the Star Wars movie, but, like, it feels like every big release since the Star Wars movie has been, like, the biggest thing in box office history. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd say even before I mean, that, maybe even Avengers 1. I mean, even Batman was the biggest thing in box box office history and beat Star Wars before Deadpool, so... Well, this year is going to be just... It's major motion Mm -hmm. picture packed. Like, it's ridiculous how many movies are coming out there. That Warcraft, though? Well, I think it's good, though. I mean, I think we've went through, what, probably about five or six years where movies were like, oh, okay, that was cool. Yeah, and you may get one a year Exactly, one really good one. Now we're getting back-to-back blockbusters that are just shattering records. I mean, that's what they... That's what the film industry wants. Yeah, it's definitely uh, revitalized the whole Hollywood thing. I wouldn't say there's, you know 
creativity wise, no, but not at all. But money wise, yeah, it's yeah. probably richer than anything before. Yeah. Uh, Jada, have you seen the movie yet? I have not. Oh, I'm wow. Falling on a budget right now. Bang so. it or bang it, though. Are you going to see oh, it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's on the, it's on the, it's on the list. Madison, are That's you going to bang exactly, it or bang it? Um, I might when it comes out on Netflix. Um, <laughs> That's exactly really? why I haven't. Yeah, that long wow. falling on a budget. Wow. <laughs> well, see, I didn't pay for my ticket, so yeah. The only one I saw, ticket. the only no. one no. I saw in theaters was Star Wars so far. So, <laughs> I used that still a good movie choice. ticket. For yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's Where see. Civil War grossed uh, one hundred eighty-one point one million in North America over the weekend, making it the fifth highest-grossing domestic box office opening weekend of all time. Uh, it also seats it directly between two other Marvel films, uh, right behind the Avengers Age of Ultron, but ahead of Iron Man 3. I wonder what's the lowest grossing film for, for this Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hulk. I'm going to say, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about the, the, the cohesive corset. one. I want to say it's Thor. Yeah, Hulk. I'm going to say Thor Hulk as counts. Well. No, 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 it no, does no, no, not. Yeah, it does. Hulk was pre. No, it was. No, no it they doesn't. took the story from, uh, what's uh, Edward Edwards? Norton. Edward Norton. Yeah, yeah they did. One hundred percent. But it's but it, that was pre. It's Thor. Actually, I it's, I would have to agree that it Thor took place might be. after Iron Man one. Fact checker, Aaron. I, You're on your phone uh, all the time, anyways. I'm not on it now. <laughs> I want to say Hulk was. <laughs> he pulled it out immediately. I want to say Hulk was before Iron Man. We'll see. I want to say it was just. Because it wasn't much. I think it was. There was a lot of about talk of five, Edward Norton months. being in the Avengers, though, and he turned it down. So. He should have. I don't know why he turned it. I really want to talk to him now. Like, <laughs> talk to Edward dude, Norton. Yeah, I'm gonna call him up. And He's like, I've done like eight on. movies since then, bro. Yeah, what movies? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right. I no, in, Edward Norton was great, actually, as Hulk. I like him. I was He's an good. extra yeah. in Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, bad. <laughs> no. I was in the crowd. Like him and Robert Downey Jr. In a in 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 a role together, and superheroes. Yeah, no. I don't know how I would have felt about the the whole <laughs> like even. Robert Downey Jr. and um, Bruce Banner, the Tony Stark Bruce Banner um, kind of bromance. Kind of you know how they had all those memes and stuff yeah. between them as well. I mean, obviously Captain America and Iron Man, their bromance is stronger. But there was all the other ones. They did a good uh-huh. job with the recasting, though. Mm. Like uh, sure. I can't even think of the dude's name, but he's great. Uh, Aaron, while he's looking that up, we'll move on to IGN's Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. So that game launched. Mm -hmm. And have you played that one? I haven't yet. I have, uh, like I said, balling on a budget. Um, going to be borrowing it from a friend. And then you're going to complete the stream, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's going to be streamed first first day I get it. Revisiting, going one, two, and three. What what are some things you, uh, relearned about it? Um... God, um, this it just the cinematic pieces for the the game is just so great. Like it's just the story recaptivating. Even though I was like I've already played through all of these stories, like going back through it, I just felt like I cared about the characters. I cared about the story again. Um, the action was fun. Um, just to, they're just constructed so well. Like that's what I love about Uncharted. Is it's just they put together. They take all these different pieces and they just make it a nice cohesive. Still, game. so better than Tomb Raider or not, for, in your opinion? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Always. I still have to say, I, I haven't played the new one, though. I, I will say that. I haven't played the Rise of the Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. Is that the second one? I haven't played that yet, so oh. that's on the list. But uh, definitely, you know, Uncharted 2 still beats the new revamped to- Tomb Raider. Aaron, far. you are now a PlayStation 4 convertee. Uh, will you be picking convertee? up Uncharted? I wouldn't call me a convertee. Yeah, you were a convertee. Uh, I have one. Thanks to all of you. Um, but Converti? Joiny. Uh, Joiny, yes. <laughs> um, Uncharted. I, I, You know what? I get this question a lot as well. Oh, you have a PlayStation? Oh, Uncharted. It's a no-brainer, right? Mm-hmm. But, and, and this is where it comes in, I haven't played any of the originals, like on PS3, of course, mm-hmm. right? Um. Do they have an HD yeah. bundle yeah. for Nathan PS4? Yeah, Nathan Drake Collection on PS4. That's how I played mine. I downloaded it. It was on sale for 30 bucks. Oh, leading wow, up to the launch. 30 bucks. Oh, that's not a bad... Uh, if they put it on sale again, definitely... I might have to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to play this final one Until before I play those other ones. Yeah. I highly recommend so that. So I can't say that, oh, yeah, it's an instant buy. Well, Aaron, you yeah. swear you're better at video games than everybody. So if Data, if it took her 27 hours I don't think, I've, I don't think I've ever heard Aaron say that at oh, all. I've, oh. I've never. Aaron talks so <laughs> much. I'm good at he's, video yeah, games. Yeah, he always, he, yeah, no. 
me and Aaron yeah. usually do pretty well. Like we're usually co-op partners. Yeah, we like, we ran through okay. Resident okay. Evil Five. Okay, so Jade yeah. is better than Aaron, so it'd probably take Aaron <laughs> about thirty. Seven hours? 37 hours. Wow. Tack another 10 hours on there? No, I, I don't. <laughs> well, it depends on, also depends on what difficulty you're no playing bathroom. on. I was playing on hard, so. And yet, like, when I do that, when I want to try to go through a series or something, because like, I went through um, um uh, stupid uh, horror game. What is it? Um, In Space. Is Dead Space. Dead Space. Dead space. Dead space. You're the minor? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I went through that just to get to the final one, uh, I literally played on easy mm. just to rush through that thing so I could see story. And I'd like, I didn't skip cutscenes. I just wanted to kind of get through the actual game game part just so I can get to the all caught up. Um, I'm not saying I'll do that with Nathan Drake, but... Don't play it a, on easy. Yeah, <laughs> play it at least on normal. If it's a story-driven game, it's like, you know... I kinda. had... Playing through on hard, I only got stuck in Uncharted 2 and 1. And it was, like, it was one level on each one that caught me for like 45 minutes mm. for one one chapter. But other than that, even on hard, I just I brushed through it. For the most part, a couple restarts here and there, you know, failed jumps. Drake, oh, did, Jake, like, okay, Drake yeah. doesn't like to grab ledges sometimes. So, <laughs> Terrible. You know. But he does like to call you on the cell phone. He does like to call I you on the cell phone. I saw that stupid thing. <laughs> Dude, all the, I, I really like, after seeing all those emotes and dances for multiplayer, it makes me want to pick it up. I have $40 sitting in my PSN wallet right now waiting for Overwatch at the end of the month. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm like I kind of want to get Uncharted and just wait on Overwatch. But I know I'm borrowing Uncharted, so like I have to like just contain myself in did you play the open beta for Overwatch? oh yeah i just played the closed beta i was in closed beta and open so So what do you think uh tracer all the way tracer tracer Tracer, Tracer. slippery little wiener oh i love her she's like my go-to character now i can't stand getting caught in a room with a tracer because she's so small Mm -hmm. so the hitbox is tiny and then warping around you know the speed boosts and then the rewind of time my first match i went 19 and 0 with Tracer. Wow. <laughs> Just like devastating. Most of my matches I like I'm seriously positive. I'm usually at least a Two and a half to three point oh KD with her. Oh man. So she's just oh. When you pick it up, you're getting PC? Uh PS4. Oh, see, here's the real. The battle lines I'm have been drawn. PS4 the, too. This is Civil War. The Civil right War is happening. You guys are doing PC? Yeah. I don't yeah. know yet. I'm the See, Black I'm Panther. doing it on PS4. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on PS4 mostly because my uh, my uh, followers hooked me up with PSN cards for it. So oh, okay. that's why I, I, it's PS4 to play with my with my viewers. Obligations, okay. I see so, that. so like Noel, he's doing PS4. Mm-hmm. So you have your Ant Man there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I think I want to say Jerry is doing PS4. So you have your Hulk. Uh, Steven is going PC because he wants that Diablo wings or something like that. Oh, probably. really? Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. That was so. my, yeah, that was he's my the, uh, surprise. Right he's like, there. is he the Spider Man technically yeah, that come out of Spider-Man. nowhere? Yeah. This came out of left field. Um, who else is getting the game? Uh, Javier said he, of course, getting on PC. Uh, you got. Have we heard Bags getting it? Bags, you know, Bags you really have PC. to ask. He's getting it. I'm you know why? Because I'm, I'm, I'm confusing. Bags is Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confusing it with. Um, uh, I'll be his war machine. The Borderlands one. Oh, you know he's probably gonna be that ride or die. Though. Oh, Bla- uh, Bl- uh, Battleborn. Battle, yeah, Battle yeah. So Born. he's That's he's Guardians I'm of the doing. Galaxy. Then he's out there on <laughs> yeah. his own planet. I was play. I played a lot of Battleborn. I played a lot of the beta on that one. That one was good too. But I just I liked Overwatch's quicker pacing more uh, than so, Battleborn. So now I'm trying to figure out. I don't I don't understand. I don't know. So you are Black Panther. You need to make a decision. And it's tough because Indecision 2016. There there Web is your Carter. Captain America, so good there's, fucking luck. Oh, is Web going to uh, PS4? I thought he said PS4. I think he did too. Oh man. So that's Cap. <laughs> if somebody doesn't find all our pictures on the internet and make a Civil War poster, <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Uh, let's see. That. This is a sad story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first Prince passed away, and now mm. Disney Interactive discontinues the Disney minute. Infinity series. Wait, wait. wait. Fresh <laughs> Prince passed away. What? No, he's talking about First Prince. First oh. Prince. <laughs> I <thought laughs> like, he said Fresh Prince. Passed I Will Smith away. is still yeah, okay. He's still alive. Aaron, your old man hearing is starting to kick in. I said, you said First Prince. Yeah, you sound like you said Fresh I, Prince. I, I'm kind yeah. of, I don't know if I should be like offended that you put Prince and Disney Infinity in the same <laughs> right. sentence. Yeah, that's like, that is stuff. like nowhere in comparison like 
I went to multiple Prince tributes over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> really, multiple Prince yeah. tributes. Yeah, I actually hosted, co-hosted a Prince party in San Francisco with my, one of my friends' houses. Wow. Or whatnot. We had videos. We create. She created a whole like YouTube playlist of like hard to find Prince videos and everything behind the scenes and stuff like that. We cooked. We did all types of stuff. There was so a that, lot of wow. crazy YouTube videos mm-hmm. coming out about him being connected to the Illuminati no. and being like all this crazy that type of stuff. stuff. My favorite story was, uh, and you guys could look this up, uh, Jimmy Fallon tells mm. like a 10 or 15 minute story about ping pong and yes. Prince. And it, you have to watch it. Oh, it's great. It's so Prince. It verifies the Charlie Murphy story. It does. From Dave Chappelle. I was uh, I was actually driving home from uh, one of my jobs one day, and on the radio I heard a cast. Uh, it was a podcast where they or, or radio show, whatever. They interviewed Prince, and he's like, he's like, they asked him about that Charlie Murphy and the whole thing. He's like, he's like, you know, that's a true story. And it's like, it's not that I'm particularly very good at basketball. It's just Charlie Murphy is that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they have a picture up on online, don't they? Of, yeah, so. of Charlie Murphy like laying down and then Prince standing over him with the basketball or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. The other great story was the uh, Michael Jackson rivalry. Oh yeah, yeah, that they, was a good one. They almost yeah. collaborated on uh, bad, bad. Yeah, and Prince declined because of the opening line, "Your butt is mine." Yeah, <laughs> he said, "I'm definitely not singing that to you, and you're not singing that to me." So he declined. And uh, over the years, he made other jabs at Michael Jackson, and Michael Jackson was on the record of calling Prince a meanie. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's a oh, <laughs> Prince was bullying Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Little Michael. Uh, but Disney Interactive is discontinuing uh, the Infinity series, and that's kind of shocking. But it feels like every time I go to any video game aisle, it's just loaded with Infinity. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if people just it's, aren't buying it. It got oversaturated. Yeah. Exactly. It's what we said was going to happen when yeah. it first came out. This is going to be great for three, four years, and then it's going to just die off. Or do they still have the, um, what's the other one? Skylanders. Skylanders, Skylanders are, still are still going. Still going? Skylanders are still going. I fig- I give them another year because, but they have the, the thing is Skylanders established it first. So they have the highest install base at home already so that's why they're gonna last a little bit longer than Disney Infinity and that actually makes me sad because like I was actually looking forward to going and picking up Disney Infinity and collecting those characters with my kid but oh, I got a bunch of my favorites so I'm happy <laughs> well that, <it's> like, <laughs> that's all it's not like they're burning them all and running them over I mean they'll still be out there and you can black and now they'll be them. discounted and cheaper yeah yeah True. Until they get down to like the last, like the rare ones. How did this go wrong, though? I mean, it's a toy box. It was pretty a cute. A digital game toy box too. with Marvel and Star Wars. Did and you play Disney. it? I, I was like, okay, yeah, I was going to ask, have you actually played it like at home? Not, I know you've played no, it I've at like our demo it, events. I've and only stuff. played it at events. So my roommates actually have it. So I, you know, I convinced my roommates, somewhat convinced my roommates, like I was like, hey, this might be a great idea for your daughter. She loves Disney, blah blah blah. So they got it. They were played it for I don't know, maybe a month or so, and then that was pretty much it. They Where, what about the, it? Seems like it would be so replayable. It's it's a, it is it's very replayable, but the thing is, is it's a very niche age, and I think that's the biggest issue. Is I think the age range for that is like seven to twelve, and that's it. Once you get out of that seven to twelve range, under than uh, younger than seven, it's too much for them, and of, of, after twelve. They want to play Call of Duty and Halo. Really? Yeah, yeah that's I mean, unfortunate. I'd have to agree with that's that. That's kind of the, you know, that's the market, unfortunately. What could have saved it? Um, Disney. <laughs> it is Disney. <laughs> then nothing could have saved yeah, it. Yeah, if Disney can't, yeah. if Disney fails, if Disney, couldn't, then. if Disney fails at it, then it's just doomed. Hmm. You don't think it was just too many actual characters? Like, I think it was, I think it was a lot of, I think it's tough because you can argue that they put out too much too fast. But at the same time, they need to stay competitive and they need to keep releasing new content for the diehard faithfuls that, you know, were buying every single figure. You if know? it would have had a super so, dope, like intriguing multiplayer competitive aspect to it, and then they didn't just overproduce all the figurines and created that madness that like, like amiibos, amiibos have. Like a um it could have been like a Splatoon type thing. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. a Splatoon mode. Yeah, because yeah. it is a it is a toy box where you make your own levels and stuff, right? Yeah, there's that. You can make your own yeah. game modes and things like that as well. You know, there was like they showed off like a Smash Brothers mode. They showed off like a racing mm-hmm. type mode that you could make. Honestly, make I think what it um, it may have been really weak on is story. Was that the and purpose Disney though for is, it? Yeah, you know well, what? Hold I, on. Okay, go ahead. Story is what keeps kids involved for a long time too. 
Like my my child loves when I read to him. You know what I thought was kind of uh, a missed opportunity is that you can only use characters from the, same. the specific set through the story modes. Yeah. yeah. So if you're playing a Star Wars story, you can only use Star Wars characters. You yeah. can't pop in uh, Olaf or Hulk from or, Frozen or any of the Marvel characters. Yeah. And so if you don't have those characters, then it's and if you like and if SOL. and if that you know you say that you know the the Star Wars fans or the Marvel fans buy it, they played through the Marvel ones and Star Wars stuff came out. They don't say they don't like Star Wars. Random, yeah. you know, just random example some trolley yeah you know they just don't like star wars yeah they don't (laughs) they don't like star wars there's no point for them to collect anything else there's no point for them by the game they can't use other old characters they have to invest they have to use characters it's an investment it's a huge investment investment so well the the thing is is that like disney and uh square enix they collaborate on that kingdom hearts Mm -hmm. and kingdom hearts has been going strong for since what 2001 yeah 2003 two three but yeah. yeah but yeah right around there so it doesn't make sense that disney infinity other than that it's so niche yeah um flopped. I, I think uh i think also the gameplay is a little was a little too simplistic i think it was another part of it like that's i mean yes kingdom hearts is an amazing story we love kingdom hearts for story but the action is what really when i was you know the mechanics it's a full early game. Yeah. into you know it was later half of ps2 early into you know high school whatever and i picked up kingdom hearts for the first time I was the action that really drew me. The characters and stuff is what drew me in at first, but the action and the gameplay is what kept me there, you know. And so I think that was they, they left. See, they lost. They didn't have a hook. I'd have to say it was the opposite for, for me. You? The mm-hmm. action drew me in at first because I love that I could you know, the gameplay of like going around because I played a lot of those Japanese RPGs back then. Mm-hmm. And uh, this wow, was... Wow, 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 wow. We call them Asian RPGs now. Wow. <laughs> no, we okay, do not. <laughs> Asian American RPGs. <laughs> oh <my> anyway, <laughs> um, so I played a lot of those, and I really love the action of being in the 3D environment of like and, and kind of a, a, the platformer aspect of Kingdom Hearts. So the action drew me in first, but the story kind of kept me there. However, I, <laughs> I didn't really keep up with the story totally either, so I can... Well, yeah. rest yeah. in peace uh, <laughs> yep. to Disney Infinity. Uh, you know, they are making another Kingdom Hearts. Yep. So, yep. you know, maybe that can fill that crossover niche we have. Yeah, that we need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, before we move on to the next point, I've got actually a, a quick question for all of our comic experts here. Okay. So I got challenged on my stream while I was talking about Uncharted about uh, superheroes and favorite superheroes and such. And I said... You know, one of my fans said that they Superman is their was his favorite superhero. He's the best superhero and stuff oh. like yada yada. Yeah, you know, you know one of those. Yeah, okay. And um, I was like, I was like, that's cool. You know, Superman is cool. He's he great. Exists. He's, he exists. Yeah. He's there, but he's he's kind of lame duck to me. Like he's I do not like Superman. And he he challenged me because I haven't read very many Superman comics. Okay. Now I gave him I my my reasoning behind not liking Superman is I just don't like his character. I don't like. What he I don't like the fact that he has all the powers. I don't like how bland and generic he is of a superhero. I haven't read a lot of the comics. I don't. I feel that I don't need to read a bunch of comics about a character that I already have a genuine disinterest for. Would you guys? How do you guys feel on that subject? Do you guys think I should that somebody should read about a comic char- book character that they do not like right off the bat, so that they can either justify themselves for not liking that character or to develop a liking for that character? There's so many good comics to read for the com- characters that you do like. It's kind of a waste of time and energy and money if you don't like a character. I mean, for Superman, for example, uh, he's pretty boring. Like He's just a vanilla hero who's way overpowered mm-hmm. that just punches things as hard as possible. And then, But there are certain story arcs where they do him well. And, and I've it, heard that. And generally, they feature more like a good supporting cast as well like uh what was that one aaron the red sun is that the one that's <clears throat> the red sun is uh that's, an alternate yeah that's the communist he, version yeah, yeah he goes to, uh, that's uh, and see, that's the Russia. one that's the only one that i've seen in the last like five ten years that looked interesting to me but if you're going like canon type of stuff because that's who superman mm-hmm. will be you're not these alternate ones like you can make up stories to make the character more interesting but if you're going with the main storyline then you'd be hard pressed to find any good ones in the back catalog. Mm. His newer stuff now where he's been depowered and everything like that, 
you're going to find a, a decent amount of story, but they've depowered the crap out of him. <laughs> but so. then, but Which makes de- it, it actually would here, be more interesting here's the thing, yeah. though, than they, anything. They depowered him, but it was just temporary. Yeah, like, well, I mean, he, it's he already all got always, most. Yeah. He, he got most of his powers back. When he works his way into a hole, you know, where you're like, how's he going to overcome this? Oh, just give him all the old powers back. Yeah, <laughs> it's his, his whole thing is it's too... Um, they gave him too much in the beginning. I mean, they, they say anything that Superman can't do is something he hasn't tried yet. That's his superpowers. Yeah. Hey, and Mega. That's, that's way too much. Way, way too much. Um, Mega's from... Mega Man Zero Eighty Eight, welcome to the chat. We got yeah. chat popping off, and Aaron is in the chat engaging the first with time. everyone. First yeah. time, <laughs> I've never really gotten into that, so I'm. Uh, That's why, if you yeah. listen to the podcast, we love you, and this is why we do the Wednesday shows. But it, you can always show up, join us uh, on mm-hmm. Wednesday nights around seven o'clock on Twitch, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, moving on to the next topic we got here. This is a very relevant one, since uh, Jada, you're going to E3, right? Yep. Aaron's going to E3. I will be at E3. Are you going to be booth babing it up? Not this year. Not this year because we Not caught you year. at one of our E3s. Not bringing the baby. <laughs> Randomly too, right? Like we didn't even plan that out. Yeah. We got caught you yeah, there. that was your guys' first E3. Yeah. My first E3 too, actually. To we be were honest. all just three little yeah. E3 versions without a yeah. care in the world. <laughs> it was last year, right? <laughs> no, it was two no. years ago. Yeah. Aaron didn't go last year. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. It was two years ago. Yep. Uh, so this is a list of E3 confirmed 2016 games. We're going to go through the list, say what we know about them, and bang it or bang them. Uh, so the first one, confirmed, Battlefield 1. Uh, I'm banging it, yeah. Yeah. What Call is it. banging it? What is binging? I'm binging it, I guess. Do you know you know what the, the search web search bing is, right? Yeah. Would you use that over Google? No. Exactly. So, you don't. so it's so, a bad thing, isn't it? I guess bing so. Is yes, bing well, is Well, I'm binging it. Okay, so you're not going to be into this one, but they're going back yeah. to World War One, and there's horses. That's cool. We've talked. We've, <laughs> I've, That's cool. We've uh, uh, in our, our our constant years of playing Xbox mm. Live and shooters, very shooters. We've constantly talked about wanting to go back to World War One. Yeah. Do you thankful. remember though? At the time, we were so sick of World War World War Two. We were like, sick of World we were, War Two. We were done. But then, you know, they went Modern Warfare, and then we got our taste of World at War, and we were like, "This is like brand new," and like, "This is like the coolest." fucking thing ever yeah and then you know then got away from it and we've hated call of duty ever since they left the first black ops yep. pretty much uh this one is going to be available on pc ps4 and x bone uh yeah i'm ba- banging that one for sure uh i'm gonna bang it so hard it's going to walk crooked the next day terrible um uh, <laughs> gonna call- turn that one into a two <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a good one that was a very good one. Uh, Call of Duty 2016, which we have come to know as Infinite Warfare. Uh, the one that has 700,000 dislikes last time we checked. Only like 200 positive upvotes on YouTube. Uh, it's the Ghostbusters trailer. Yeah, it's the yep. Ghostbusters trailer all over again. <laughs> I- I'm definitely going to bing this one. This is uh, this is like an internet explorer for me. Like, like I'm not even binging it. I'm going I've, like... I've... I've got to at least play the game. I'm not... Uh, wow, you of all people. Wow. I, well, because, I mean, if I'm there and it's there... Oh, okay. Here's the thing. If there's a line, I'm not waiting. No, exactly. <laughs> if it's just empty, like yeah. like we expect... Then, yeah, I'll, I'll step right over to the... And wipe the cobwebs off the controller, and I'll give it a try. So, mm-hmm. Madison is binging Battlefield 1. I'm assuming you're going to bing Call of Duty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dishonored 2, Bethesda. Banging it. I'm banging it. I'm banging I didn't play it. one. I what I heard wasn't enough to like sell me on it. So I haven't really done too much looking into what they've added to the second one from the first one. But I love the first one. I'm so. not. I'm not necessarily gonna bang it, but we'll probably like get a little handsy. Mm. There maybe you go. Terrible. Second base, maybe. Uh, Madison, were you a fan of Dishonored one? Honestly, I have a feeling a lot of the games you're gonna be uh, talking about are gonna be. I'm barely gonna glance them at the bar. Wow, she's committed. <laughs> yeah, she's committed. What What are you into right now? Um, the only things I'm really looking forward to are No Man's Sky, Pokemon. Mm, she's got only eyes. Horizon. For no Man's Sky. There you go. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy. Let me do my numerals. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's an X and a V. Yeah, X and a V. Uh, this one is this the one with the punk rockers yes. fighting like. Kaijus while they're driving there. Yes. Six four. Yes, exactly. All of those things. <laughs> that so, is all hundred percent factual. It's so confusing. 
I, it's not going to be like the Lightning series, right? No. It's not on rails. No. It's much more open. It's a lot more open, a lot more uh, action-oriented. It's a lot faster-paced. This is where I lose my gamer cred because I still have yet to play. Well, okay, I did play the Lightning franchise, but mm-hmm. I didn't like it. It's it's not a good franchise for you to start with. Okay. Lightning, I love the 13 series, but that's because I I can appreciate it from what Final for what Final Fantasy is and what it was, and I saw what they were trying to do and where they lost the non-faithful the newcomers and then the people who just you know just didn't like that style but for banging it or banging it i'm banging 15 hardcore (laughs) i'm I'm putting my shop in the car and i'm putting my car in the shop going to see sid she's getting banged too (laughs) (laughs) it's gonna be a good old time carter uh boy band number 15 is that what you're calling (laughs) yes Yes. uh that's a hard pass Mm. That's a hard pass. Hard pass. Only because I'm. Hey, I'm gonna nah, be. Nah, nah. I'm probably gonna be banging this one. I'm not sure when, but I. I am. <laughs> but you just feel in your bones a banging gonna happen. It's. It's gonna happen. It's inevitable. Well, she likes like, the Asian RPG. I. I do. I do <laughs> have Asian a thing American. for them Asian RPGs. Yeah, there you go. A A R P G S. Arp. Uh, the next one, Forza. Coming out on the Xbox One. They're making another one of those? Yeah, they got Of course, they're going to keep doing it. It's their Gran Turismo. And they're teamed... uh, Why do they make one every year? And Gran Turismo makes one every five years. That's like five to ten years. That's better. I think when they got the race where people were like, oh, this one is just as good or better than uh, Mm -hmm. Gran Turismo, they just start to try to run with it. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. And then they get oversaturated. Yep. And then... Gran Turismo comes back, makes a better one, and then it's a it's a vicious circle. Vicious uh, vicious circle. So I take it no one at the table. Oh, is, that's a hardcore bing. We're all binging it. Yeah, well, I'm a bing it. Come <laughs> up with the, no search results. What's the opposite of, of, what of a now? what's the opposite of a gang Forza. bang? Oh yeah, no, I'm not an unbinging. An unbing bang. Mm, what? We're all not playing it. Yeah, we're, we're not, not playing yeah, it. Let's move on. Uh, Guilty Gear XRD. We're going to start moving a little bit faster. Uh, definitely a bing for me. I'm banging that. I'm already playing the demo, so. <laughs> and so far? Good. But it's like, it's, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Zerd that came out two years or whatever. It's just better graphics, more balance, more characters. Um, I'm still sad that my favorite character isn't there, so I'm a little depressed about that, but it's still a solid fighting game that'll it's going to work its way into the fighting game community. So if you guys listen to the podcast, we did have uh, Joel Gaming Sense Gaming on the show once to defend his game. And he talked about Fable Legends. He is so mad at Michael Soft right now. <laughs> oh, because they can't. <laughs> He's raging Was in he... chat. He says, more ass. Forza and cancel Fable Legends. I Good ag- call, MFers. I will agree on that. I would, I would, I would bang Fable Legends over Forza. I would have like, to agree there, too. Sorry. Like, Fable is my jam. You guys would catch something because Fable is. Oh, uh, for sure. That, I mean, it's a game terrible. where you could get an STD literally exactly. in the game. So, like, that <laughs> exactly. was like, it wasn't just a feature. It was, uh, it was a byproduct of the game. <laughs> uh, this is a big one. Legend of Zelda for Wii U. I'm binging that. Binging I'm, it? No, fuck no. Oh, I'm banging I was the say. shit. I was kidding. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> banging the shit out of that. Is that going to be your, like, main Oh, that's going to be, like, yes. That is, like, going to be, like, I don't care who else on staff, like, wants an interview to do that. I will kill everybody else at, at E3 for that. Knowing Nintendo and how they operate at E3, it's probably going to be, like, on all the screens. Like oh, yeah. Smash was two years ago mm-hmm. and Star Fox was last year. Yep. Um, so hopefully everyone will get a chance I don't know what else one. they have that they're going to be showing off, so, besides that, so... Yeah, no, that's the, like the big one. That's the showstopper for the Wii U, right? Cause mm-hmm. That's pretty much it for Nintendo, besides Pokemon. Do you wish they would have held off for the NX, or do you think it's time now? No, I think what they're going to do, honestly, I think they already really said it's going to be a NX launch title as well. I think they're going to do the same thing they did with Twilight Princess. It's going to launch on both the Wii U and Twi- and it's going to you know launch on the Wii U. Like, Does that hinder a game, though? Like, are, are you so. Are you worried that they're going to be building it for both consoles, so it's going to be limited in the NX version? I don't think so. Um, I mean, obviously, yes, it'll have some drawbacks for the NX version, but let's be real. It's going to be the launch title for an in, for a new console. Launch cons, launch titles for consoles are always limited by developers' learning curve. They're still learning what they can do with yeah, it. Yeah, but you need you know? yeah, and you do need a console seller. So uh, I feel so. like it will get held back, and then it's going to be another twenty years till we see a Zelda game or uh, you know like a legit full mm. title Zelda game. Give it, give it another four or five. 
four or five years. You we'll think see. it'll be that quick? Yeah, I think it'll be another five years, and then we'll see. We'll see an amazing Zelda on NX. Predicting um, it. What are we? We're 2016, 2021. 2022 I, at the latest. I don't think I'll bang this one, but I'll, I I want to watch it get banged. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, can come, you can come watch me bang the shit out of Zelda. I'll watch you bang Zelda in the I corner. Think <laughs> I think I want to join Corey That's, over there I, in the, the more, corner with some voyeurism. The, the more, more the merrier. <laughs> Aaron, More are you going to watch Jada bang or are you going to no, bang? Uh, no. or, <laughs> are you going to join Jada in banging? I'm going to. I don't have a Wii. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I gonna do? Pause. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I don't have. A I have a wow, but I don't have a wee. <laughs> Good save. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can just speed around this one. Moto Racer Four. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like Jet Moto? Like the old PS One? I think this. No, I think this is like Rally oh. Moto Bang Cars. It. Yeah, no. If, it was, if it. it was an HD remake of Jet Moto, <laughs> quite possibly. I want you know if they remake it, and I still want those like. PlayStation yeah, 1 blocks, graphics yeah. little blocks for Jet the Moto crisp, was legit, high definition yes. blocks. <laughs> you know, I never bought Jet Moto, but it was on a demo disc I had, and I just played the hell out of that demo disc. You know, I never bought Jet Moto either, but it seemed like everybody else's fucking house I went to had Jet Moto, so I never felt like I ever had to buy it because I could just go some anywhere, anybody else's house, and I could play Jet Moto. I had a debt. Do you remember demo discs? Oh yeah, it came oh, yeah. in. It came with the magazine. magazine. I was yeah. a I was a PlayStation Underground member, so they used to send me PS2 demo discs oh, back in the day. Nice. I used to get those like every month with new demos. So uh, turn me on to Ratchet and Clank. I had the demo that had Tekken one or two, and that also had Jet Moto on it. Mm. And you only got the two characters, but I got I played a lot of Tekken with just two characters. I think it was <laughs> June and Kazuya. Kazuya. Probably Kazuya. The two characters and oh. That's all I needed. Uh, Persona Five, uh, banging, the banging, fuck out of this one, banging it. Wow, you guys are tag team, pass. tag team. Oh, they just yeah. did a, a, a Eiffel Tower. Right yes, now. we're totally Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah, the shit out of we'll Persona do it Five. In, we'll do it in Persona too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Aaron, it's gonna be tasteful. Uh huh. Pass. Yeah. What, Mr. Sony over there? This guy. I just think he doesn't. I, I played, he doesn't. He doesn't do RPGs. It's a long. Yeah, that's a. That's a strict JRPG like that's the almost up there with the Final Fantasy now right the, the, especially when po- uh, popularity popularity I'd say yeah. is pretty damn close to Final Fantasy popularity I, I never jumped on board of those, with those so I mean Mega Man 088 in chat says P5 will be banged that's right yeah P5 is gonna be so so okay P5 is like a Final Fantasy Pokemon with penis monsters wow Sold for the <laughs> sold to the man in the Star Wars shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you could get him a better pitch to convince Aaron there. Yeah. I'll pass. <laughs> uh, oh, here's one controversial right here. Uh, Titanfall two. No, binging, binging it just on past experiences on the previous Titanfall. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll give it a shot. I'll probably try it. But it's it's kind of like Call of Duty with Aaron. If it's there's no line for it, I'm yeah. like if I can walk up and literally just pick up a controller and kill some bots again, I'm good. What if Titanfall Two comes out and they're like full story mode with mechs? I don't care. No. Okay. What if they? What, what, what would it take? God to get me back into Titanfall. Yeah. Shit. I'll the mechanics of Titanfall were solid. They were. It's. I don't know. It was. It was not enough of anything. It was not a full game. That was its mm-hmm. problem. It wasn't that the game was bad. It was that they were charging. 64 bucks for mm-hmm. and I got a, it for, a, I got it for free a $30 game yeah I got it for free and I like I played it for maybe two weeks and I don't know the the bots and multiplayer bugged me that was like it was just kind of like it's too it was too much of a distraction for me on the battlefield I'm already trying to focus on and, in and snipe four or five people and I got these six bots running roaming around fire like laying down cover fire on me like I don't I don't need that. I'm with gaming since gaming. If they put like a full cohesive storyline into that game and it, you know, is legit, uh, I would definitely bang the game. Because have we seen that yet with like, oh, there we go. Diagondo in chat says customizing your mechs too. That'd be cool. That'd I'd be awesome. like I'd like a mech customization. So actually parts. make a game is what you guys yeah, are saying. Yeah, actually okay. making a game. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Not just putting robots Titanfall was a great idea. Respawn Entertainment, we, you know, was the original Call of Duty guys, the ones who built basically this empire that no, millions upon millions. Yeah. No. Respawn was built from people uh, that Res- left that left Infinity Ward. Are you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, they they were Modern Warfare guys. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna fact check that after. Yeah, the show. fact checkers. I'm gonna go check ahead. that after the show, but. Um, yeah, no, th- it's true. These guys. Were I remember the- Respawn was like one of the other Call of Duties, and I didn't like their Call of Duty. Who? Let me check. I think because I know now you got me down myself. <laughs> Damn it, Jada. <laughs> hey, you know, you know me. I'm like an encyclopedia usually. I'm pretty sure it's Respawn. Let so. us know in chat. Uh, let's see what other games we got. Okay, we just got a couple more. Two I've never heard of, so maybe you guys could educate mm-hmm. me. Yesterday Origins. No clue. What? No clue. Yesterday Origins. Yesterday Origins. Any like anything about it? It's by uh, developed by Microids. It's the sequel to Tomorrow's Origins. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Actually, excuse from me. Like the prequel this, from like the prequel. From like Sega from Sega Saturn <laughs> like yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh and then the other one is Zero Time Dilemma. There's no dilemma. I'm binging it. Zero time to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, binging it because I just don't know who it is. I don't zero time dilemma. The, yeah. Zero stranger. dilemma, zero yeah. time to play. Exactly. <laughs> what was the uh, the game that just came out with uh, the actor and it was like uh, um, the time... Uh, Quantum Break. Quantum Break. That failed, didn't it? Um, You know, it looked really good yeah. and I've heard good things about it. But there, it is not a commercial success. Yeah, because I, I, I figured. it it died out after about a week of marketing. Yeah, you I, haven't seen anything yeah. on it, so sadly. Yeah. Nvidia announces the new GTX 1080. Oh yeah, I heard about these. So, uh, I not. Aaron, this mm-hmm. might be your chance to jump into the hardcore PC gaming. How much is it? Oh, okay, like it's a low, okay. low price. Uh, yeah, six hundred dollars. Yeah, no. Ho- hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Oh, okay. Hold Which on. you need she's, to get two of them. Gonna, can I? You... Can I educate you for a moment? Please educate do. him, please. Please do. Okay, so um, they they've released a whole new line. the The lowest tier one is about three hundred dollars, I believe, mm-hmm. and the lowest tier one at three hundred dollars is like ten times better than their highest tier one currently out right now. Okay. It's pretty ridiculous. The uh, three hundred dollars still. The uh, amount, like I feel, if I had paid for my graphics card, I'm I'm actually I, gonna be banging be this. I'm gonna be banging the lower tier three hundred dollar one because that is enough to to like sit you pretty for a while. Unless you're gonna be doing VR, you don't need much more than that. <laughs> hey, Starless. Aaron, uh, I don't know why you're not more into PC gaming since you actually have a decent computer. I do. Like I, I, for some reason, the way you play it up sometimes and you know, you get choppy graphics, you say, uh, the only thing bad is your graphics card. Yeah. I, I, I turn it down whenever I, I play, uh, any new game on my, my, uh, PC just so I can get, I guess the highest frames per second. So, um, but I mean like the only game I think I play on like max is smite. And that's not really a taxing. It's not at all. Yeah, it's not a taxing. What are you doing with your life? Uh, Here's what I recommend. I'm playing uh, fully graphic uh, games on the PS4. Okay. No, you don't. (laughs) You do not. Yeah. They're not fully graphic. Mm -hmm. They're scaled down and and bootsy garbage. They look amazing to me. You know, here's the thing, Aaron. (laughs) Like you mentioned before, you know, you were uh, blessed with that PlayStation 4 thanks to your very, very generous co-host. Amongst I mean, other things, yes. He, he, he pulled all these people together in, in your behalf, and it was an amazing act of generosity, and, uh, you know, you'll never repay that debt to him. <laughs> that being said, you didn't have to buy the PS4. So you have, True. and PS4 is what, 300 bucks. So all you need to do is drop three hundred dollars on the same card Madison's getting, <laughs> put it in the com- the computer you already have. Actually, he's got a point there. And then you have a something dope- way better than PS4. Yes, your PC. <laughs> so what he's saying is to sell that gift that meant so much to you. Go sell that for three hundred dollars yeah, and get a graphics right. card because he doesn't think that you are valuing his gift that he gave you. Yeah, I don't think you are. The the system that I play so much already. Literally just did a stream of Overwatch for what three hours. Uh, the day after, I did a, another three-hour stream of FIFA mm. on said console. Uh, so, what what am I not using again to the full potential? Chat says, okay. uh, "Beezer uh, Boy says, play Corey, play <laughs> Uncharted Four, then tell me the graphics are bad." Okay, the PS4 graphics aren't bad, but. However good it looks on that PS4, but I'm not all it about. I'm not, yes. I'm not a graphics whore. I'm not a graphics whore. That's that's historically known. What else? What am I missing? 
Well, then if you're not a graphics whore, then it, what does it matter? You get the, the PC is better. No, you're, you're not giving me You can a use taste. your controller. That's like saying, oh, uh, if you don't like, you don't care about taste, that vanilla is better than Aaron, chocolate. Aaron, you just got to feel. <laughs> That's just exactly what I <laughs> You just got to feel the burn. You're not giving me a good argument. If you are supposed to be a part of this PC master race, this oh, is the lowest point. This is your it guys' actually, lowest point. No, I'm I'm actually not um, condoning his argument oh, at okay. all. Wait, wait, so. what? There you go. <laughs> Shunned. Your I rug just is gone. by your own people. Shunned I'm by your I, own I actually people. very much so enjoy my PS4. Um, I, I go with both. So The only time I can enjoy my Xbox now or my PS4 is streaming it through my computer. <laughs> and the, wow. Uh, the reason is, honestly... I, now that I'm so acclimated to PC gaming and being so close to my monitor, if I have to play in the room, just the fact that I'm playing on a TV throws me off now. Wow. I can't explain it. Even on games on the PC where I'm using a controller, I just can't get used to playing on a TV anymore. I don't understand you know, that either. So I will I will say I will kind of second that. I've probably about 6 6 8 months ago I moved my desk into my bedroom so I have my computer and I have two monitors. I have my PS4 hooked up into one monitor and my PC hooked up into the other, into both of them as well. So I just cycle channels when I want to use my PS4. So I'm constantly running dual monitors regardless of if I'm on PC or if I'm on my PS4. Um, but I have a 42 inch in my other room that I just don't use. It's just literally sitting there. I watch and TV I just, on it. Like I, I don't even do that. I, watch I don't my know why you guys do monitors. this. See, I I and like to, sell to my actually. TV is what it is. I think my problem with my Twitch stream and why I I, I dual monitor, mm -hmm. but my second monitor is my TV, and I often throw my games up on that TV and just sit back on the couch and play. Oh, so if you're not like right there, like, yeah, on watching top of my chat, chat yeah, though yeah, I cannot keep up with that stuff. Yeah, no, I have, I literally have to have it right there on top of me in order to, yeah. to pay attention to it. Man, if you take that how you will. If chat. you just purchased like <laughs> dual Titan X's, you know, for about a grand a piece, and then you know the next day the news story comes out that this new line of Nvidia's is going to do better graphics for a fraction of the price, you got to be a little cheesed. No, I'm super cheese. No, we're buying one. I'm super <laughs> cheesed. Like no, the, the 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 lowest tier graphic card in their new line coming out is better than a six hundred dollar graphic card out right now. So I'm cheesed. It's technology. It. It's technology. That's how it goes. <laughs> it sparks, uh, you know, yeah. new innovations the, in waves. As I said, I consoles. think that these, I think that these graphic cards were Those built with waves. VR like, take in forever mind. To get here. Yeah. So definitely, definitely oh, meant for VR. VR. Uh, well, we're winding down. Uh, this next one, uh, Jada, you did a review for the Steel Series Apex M500 keyboard. Yes. What did you think? I love it. Oh my god. Well, I was way overdue for a new keyboard. I was using a little. Ten twenty dollar piece of crap, cheapy, cheap, cheapy, mm -hmm. um, but great, um, really good quality. A um, little bit louder than I like, but you know it's got the full mechanical, full mechanical cherry red switches in there. Uh, backlighting, it's got its own. Uh, you know you can download the program through Steel Series, their Engine Three, which allows you to customize some of the different features on there, set macros for your different buttons. So great for MMO fans. Um, I haven't tested out the any of the macros with like League or anything else, but definitely great for like MMOs and stuff. Uh, full LED or RGB LED, or is it just one color? Just one color, just okay. blue backlit. Not bad, what's it retail for? 100 bucks, 99.99. Not too mm -hmm. bad. Aaron, what are you rocking over there for your keyboard? Uh, it's the, what is it, the Corsair? Uh, oh, you using the, the Strafe. The str yeah, strafe. yeah, the green. Uh, all green LED lights yeah, or whatever. Yeah, so I think it's the yeah. equivalent of this one, but with Corsair. Uh, what do you rock at home? Uh, something that's like 15 bucks off Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I was, girl. That's exactly yeah. where and I was she'll playing. still probably whoop my ass in <laughs> most games. Probably. So. Well, thank you guys for joining us this week. We had a very estrogen-fueled show. I liked it. I liked the dynamic of having the, uh, the female persuasion. Aaron, what did you think? Uh, to be determined. <laughs> All right, keep your eye on his Twitter. He didn't Twitter. say much this show. 
Well, no, I, I, this I, is the I, first time I've ever got to be in chat. I appreciate like, him in chat. Yeah, never get to be in chat. I think Chatter liked it. You know, another thing because whenever I do streams, I'll get chatters that come in that are regulars, literally mm-hmm. regulars. Yep. And I'd be like, "Hey, what's up? First time here?" And they were like, "I'm here week in week out, dude. What are you talking about?" You I'm bastard! Like, <laughs> like, oh, Aaron's I'm, got some short term memory. I've, no, I just have never seen these people because whenever <laughs> I'm running the show, I don't oh, look okay, at chat. Oh, okay, got you, got you. So now I finally get to sit and interact chat for once. and yeah. learn about your viewers. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I want to thank (laughs) Madison and Jada for showing up. Thank, of course, Aaron, my co-host. Next week we have a large show, so uh, I'm expecting our chat and people to be extremely respectful of our new guests. Uh, Maid of Might is one of the biggest cosplayers in the Sacramento greater area, and Laura is an aspiring entrepreneur who is this close to getting $100,000 to start a brand new business that is extremely relevant to the geek community in this area so uh for aaron madison jada my name is Corey. you all have just been banged (laughs) pew pew oh yeah